There you are, boys. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Brand. No, not bad for a season's work. We'll be seeing you again next spring with another herd. That's the idea. I'm always glad to do business with three musketeers. So long, Mr. Brand. Right. Three will come. You know, it's too bad there isn't a bank in Nemesis. It'd save us making that long trip to Prospect. Shucks, Tony, it ain't no use all of us going into Prospect. You and Tucson here head back to the ranch. I'll take the check and deposit four clothing time today. I don't know, Lullaby. $4,300 is a lot of dinero for one guy to be packing around. Yeah, especially him. The last time he went to Prospect, he fell in with evil companions. I'm cured, so help me. Well, I'll deposit that check and be back to ranch for nightfall. We'll take one more chance on you, Lullaby. But if you're not back by evening, we're coming after you. And you know what that means. Not looking for this, are you? <laughs> I don't know why we let you live so long. Look, Lullaby, when you get the prospect, try and stay out of trouble. No sleight of hand and no card tricks, savvy? You fellas got me all wrong. This trip was for business. Oh, yeah? I'll keep these so you won't be tempted. Sure, get up. You know, from the speed he's making, I'd say the town of Prospect's sort of interested in. You and me both, <laughs> Stoney. This is a fine, thriving community. Yeah. Hold the Tucson. Looks like something's doing over in Prospect. about this? I wonder he wanted to go to Prospect. Hey, Tucson, we'll have to ride fast. Maybe we can save part of that 4300. Hey there! Howdy, strangers. Anything special I can do for you? No, well, I guess not, old timer, but uh, what are you doing in this ghost town? Oh, I'm Jake Rollins, and I own it. Much more, I ain't selling a bit of it. All right, Pop. Oh, I've seen your kind before, snooping around kind of innocent-like. Oh, now, Pop, you've got us all wrong. Well, I ain't selling, I tell you. Let's get going, Tucson. Which way are you heading? Back that way. Hey, when you pass that building over there, don't make any noise. The town council's having a meeting, and you might disturb them. Thanks for telling us, Jake. You're welcome. No picture of me on there. That's all right, Kamensky. There'll be plenty of pictures when you knock the champ kicking. Here comes the champ now with Barrington. Oh. What round are you gonna knock him out in, champ? The boys. Well, this is my place, O'Brien, the official headquarters for the Battle of the Century. Oh, the doors. In, the doors swing out. Gee, this is smaller than Madison Square Garden. Is that really the champ? 
It sure was. I spoke to him personally. Make your kumba, she make your shiva, she make the shoes one down your spine. Ah, oh, look at that little lady do the hula, 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 hula. I can pray, ladies and gentlemen, see little lady belt for Tima. The little lady shake it up, move it up, give her sheep on the shake, give these sweets and pepper That's little lady belt for Tima. Price is only ten cents the price of a pump shave or a pippin' cigar. Right this way, get put the shows arrived, bounce with me. That's the idea. Ready for the big show, you're just in time, folks. Pull the bounces again. Right here, there you are, sir. Don't crowd, everybody will get a chance. All right, my friend, you're just in time, step right up. I'm here the best two to one that's a hand is bigger than the eye. Now then, there you are, look at them, look at them. Three little cards, two queens and an ace. Now, my friends, all you have to do is pick out the ace and take home an enemy to die. How about you, stranger, you want to take a chance? I'll try. All right, all you have to do is keep your eye on the ace. Now, there you are. Now, watch it. This one, huh? You win. Yeah. This one right here? Yeah. All right. There you are. You want to try it again? I'll try one. Here we go again. Keep your eye on the A. That one, huh? That's right. I'll take that doll way back up yonder. This one over here? That's right. There you are. Oh, uh, just a minute. If you win three times in a row, why, I'll give you that big doll there in exchange for the two small ones. Okay. All right. There we go. Ready? All right. Oh, this one. You win. There you are. Thanks. Sure a good game. Always did like three-card money. Uh, just a minute. You want to try this just once more? Let's try it again? Now, nah, this game's not on the square. Peter, you're right. Hey, take a look at your other two cards. <laughs> hey, let me in. Got some money for you. Get your account straight and you can go on home. We were discussing the situation here in our town, Mayor Thornton. And Jack here was saying that I'll well, keep on saying it. This fight has put prospect on the map. It's bringing in thousands of dollars. Our town was built slow but solid. We old timers pioneered it and we're proud of the job accepting the element that has come in with Barrington and his crowd. Now, Barrington has promoted this fight, and an even worse class of people are flocking here. But Ben, they're bringing a lot of money into town. We don't want that kind of money, Carter. Vice money never helped any town. I'm against Barrington and his whole rotten crowd of thugs and tin horn gamblers. I'm against allowing this fight to go on. I don't agree with you. As one of the businessmen in Prospect, I'm not in favor of killing the goose that lays the golden egg. Hey, you got the kid, I'll take care of the fighters. Get out of town and don't come back. That means you too. All right, Tommy. You'll be all right. It's only a flesh wound. But we've got to get him to a doctor.
I'm with you, Thornton. You were right. Sergeant, the council met this morning and executed this order. You can't stop this fight. The fight is stopped, Barrington. And if you read further, you'll find that they've abated your establishment. You've got 48 hours to close up and get out. This is some of Thornton's work. And if he thinks I'm going to take it laying down, he's crazy. I've built up a business here, and I'm going to keep it open. Responsible citizens of the town are behind that order, and I advise you not to ignore it. Responsible citizens. Well, I'm building this town up with my fights, putting it on the map. They're too dumb to realize that. Well, I guess the town will manage to struggle along, Barrington, without your help. Huh? That's that. I've seen it happen before. Ah, uh, wait a few days. I'll put this fight on. Nothing doing. We ain't gonna land ourselves in no jug. Come on, champ. We've got our guarantee money. This ain't no Madison Square Garden anyway. <laughs> Let's go, Kamansky. Say, what's this all about? Ain't there gonna be no fight? Come on. Listen, Stubby, you're supposed to be pretty good at opening safes, aren't you? I reckon so, Governor. I does it with me sensitive fingers. I does. Well, that's swell. I'm going to get even with Thornton if it's the last thing I do. Buck, you take a couple boys tonight and help Stubby crack the bank safe. Then hide the money someplace out of town. I can't take a chance on keeping it here in Prospect. Now you're talking. That bank's just as good as closed right now. And when it fails... Thornton's respectable friends won't help him much when the miners find their savings gone. Right. boys tire of coming to the rescue in the nick of time? Oh, now, Savina, that's no way to talk to a couple of heroes. What time did Lullaby deposit our check this morning? I didn't see him. I know he didn't deposit any money. What? What a couple of dumbbells we were to trust that bird with our money. Listen, Stoney, you cover the south side of the street, and I'll cover the north side, and we'll search every saloon in town. Right. down, you mug. Lullaby's got you beat. Oh, hell, you're only kidding. I'll call. I'll stay. All right, boys, lay them down. Four tens. Four queens. Four kings. Four aces. <laughs> well, I reckon that gives him a check back and a few hundred over. Hey, Elmer? Set her, kid, and you better quit. They're out to train you. Come on, Lullaby. I don't want to go. I'm in a good game. Come on. Just a minute, you two. If this hombre wants to play cards, he's going to play cards. Sally? Oh, beat it, mister. You might get hurt. Yeah? Well, Lullaby ain't going. He's winning, and he's going to stay in the game. <laughs> Come on, Tucson. What are you waiting for? Tucson mad at it? <laughs> well, it sure took you long enough. <laughs> what a wallop. I'll bet you he could whip the champ. Who is he? I don't know, but the names on the check we was playing for was Tucson Smith, Stony Brook, and Lullaby Judgment. Three musketeers. We're taking you to the hotel, and that's where you're going to stay. Then in the morning, we're depositing that check and leaving for the ranch. Prado. When do we eat? <laughs>
just thinking about Mrs. Harris's overdraft. After all, it's only fifty-one dollars. I think we can carry her for a while. <laughs> Sabina. Sabina. You couldn't help it, Dad. Oh, please, Dad, you've got to buck up. We can call the sheriff. Perhaps he might be able to help us. Maybe. But meanwhile, we've got to close our doors. Do we have to go back to the ranch without staying to see the fight? We, we do. do. Ah, good morning, Mr. Thornton. Well, good morning, Sabina. And good morning, Stoney. Well, I haven't seen you, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Mr. Thornton, we'd like to deposit this check to our account and withdraw a little cash. I'm sorry, Stoney, but it can't be done. Why not? It's a certified check and plenty good. Well, the bank isn't open for business yet. I mean... We can't accept your check. We haven't any money. The bank has been robbed. Well, they sure cleaned you out, Mr. Thornton. Sure used my head yesterday for not getting the bank on time. You always say the right thing at the wrong time. There's nothing much can be done, Tucson. I don't care about myself, but nearly every reputable person in prospect has money in my bank. It means ruin for them all. I'll take care of it. Well, how do you do? Uh, I'm the new teller. Oh, can you cash this? The missus says I gotta buy a new suit of clothes. Well, that's a lot of money to be spending, Mr. Uh, uh, Crabtree. You know, save and conserve. That's the best motto. Say, uh, Mr. Crabtree, would you mind selling me that suit? You know, I've been looking for one like that for an awful long time. Gosh, you really think it looks that good? I certainly do. That's why I want to buy it. Uh, pardon me, stranger. Uh, can you tell me where you got that suit? I'd like to have one of that same material. Guess I won't buy a new suit of that. Uh, uh, Mr. Crabtree. Thanks, mister. Quite all right. Does anyone else know about this robbery? No. You three are the only one. Mr. Thornton, you've got to keep this bank open and run it until we can figure out some way to straighten things out. Say, I've got an idea. Give me that check. I'll be right back. Hey, that bank is open and doing business. You sure you got all the money on the safe? Yeah, we got every dollar. Well, it's a sense you can't stay open long. Howdy, Mr. Barrington. Howdy, Buck. Oh, Hi. lullaby, you still got that big check? Sure have. I'd like to get you to cash it for me because I want to get back in that poker game. Well, I haven't got that much money on hand right now, but uh, come on, we'll get a cash, though. Hey, ain't going to the bank, are you? You want to get that check cash, don't you? Yeah, but, uh... Come on! I really think you're going to a lot of trouble, Mr. Brandon. Uh -huh, forget it, lullaby. Glad to introduce you so you can get your check cash. But I ain't used to imposing on people like this. Lullaby here would like to cash this check. No, I'd be glad to endorse it. Thanks, Mr. Barrington. I'm sure grateful to you. I guess I won't need you anymore now. Oh, I'm in no hurry. I'll wait for you. Maybe I'll just deposit this to my account. Oh, that's a good idea, Lullaby. You should have thought of it sooner. You just make out this deposit slip, Mr. Joslin. We'll be glad to take care of you. Say, very good. People to show up now. Well, what's the matter with him? Smallpox? Worse. He never cashes a check for less than five hundred dollars. Wow. Don't worry. I'll stall him. Abominable pins, you serve your customer, Soren. Please let me make it out for you, Mr. Withers. You can sign. As you wish. One thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, Mr. Withers. I'm well aware of it, sir. But Mr. Thornton here, 
will confirm when I say that I have for many, many years accumulated similar and even larger sums of money. I am now convinced that I owe my success to industry, energy, and the ability to mind my own business. Mr. Withers, uh, I'm very sorry, but I'm obliged to tell you that... Uh, not a check, young lady, not a check, a depositor slip. I have here $1,000 in cash, which I won't place to my account. And I insist on having it... <laughs> and I insist on having it placed there in spite of bad pens, insulting questions, and clerical incompetency. Of course. Certainly, Mr. Withers. Thank you. Ah. Now we ought to be able to keep open till closing time. Hey, Tucson. Sign that for me, will you? It's sure. uh, just a little legal matter. What will I sign it with? Here you are, Stoney. Thanks. I'm betting that you knock out Kamatsky in the first round, Tucson. The odds is all in your favor. Hey, let me see that paper. Don't you trust me, Tucson? Let me see that paper. Now look, Tucson, the champ just walked out on Barrington. I signed you to fight Kamatsky. Now look, it's a cinch fight because Kamatsky's a sucker for a left. All you have to do is stand in there and keep pushing that left hand in his face. Just push it in there, you know what I mean? Jab him, that's the stuff. You know, just let... I'll push something in your face if you don't give me that paper. Oh, so you won't fight, huh? That's final? You bet your life that's final. All right, you win. I guess we might as well get our horses and head back to the ranch. Of course, it's gonna be tough on Thornton, but then that doesn't... Hey, what's a fight got to do with Thornton? Well, I'll tell you. I figured that if you beat Kamatsky tonight, you could save Thornton's neck by winning enough money to take care of his payroll. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? I thought. That's the stuff, Tucson. Look, I've got a blank contract right here. We'll make out a new one. Will Thornton permit the fight? Well, he'll have to. Well, now, what do you know about that? I must have torn up the blank contract instead of the one you signed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your money, here's mine. Fred's always pays off. Who do you like, Sam? Who do you like? Betting heavy tonight, Dick? You bet I am. Who do you like, Sam? Who do you like? All right, place your bet. Ladies and gentlemen, now the main event of the evening. Introducing in this corner the pride and mystery man of the West. Weight 198 pounds. Tucson Smith! <laughs> and this corner, the champion of all of Europe, weighs 205 pounds, Wildman Kamatsky! <laughs> now listen, we aim to make this a sporting exhibition of the manly art of self-defense. Now this here is a gentleman's club. Anybody caught throwing a bottle will be took out and planted by the rules committee. And not even plant bottles? Sit down. No. I want you boys to understand. You're to come out fighting. No hitting below the belt. Break when I tell you to. Everything else goes. Everything? That's right. All right.
Hey, Jake, and don't bother me. But I want to bet. I got lots of money. Beat it. You never had a dollar in your life. Now, both of you keep your hands up. Now, go out and get it. Let's 
you hear me fire shots, you turn off that gas and drop that center light. Right. That bank money's a nemesis. Old Jake's got it. We gotta get their prattle. I got your poles. Come on. We'll cut through the river below the bridge and try and head Jake off before Buck and his men can overtake him. If we don't, he'll hide nemesis and we'll never find him. Right. Lullaby, you stick with the Thorntons. Well, old Jake's got the stolen bank money, Sabina. Tucson and Stoney are trailing him to Nemesis. We've got to hurry and get that money back before the bank opens tomorrow. The miners will go wild if they find the bank is closed. That's right. Come on. I know an old mine tunnel that leads into Nemesis. And I can handle Jake. Here, there's his horse. Well, let's start with the hotel. We gotta search the town. Right. must be tangled with Jake. Yeah. You men find out what's up. Monk and me will take a look where we hit that bank money and see if it's still there. Right out! Probably a few ghosts. <laughs> Looks like Barrington's boys are trying to get that money too. I wonder how Jake got his hands on it. I don't know. the money. Got a match? Yeah, it's going all right. Jake must have found it, sure enough. The 
boys must have found Jake. Come on, we'll circle in from the back alley. Out the back windows are best, better into the alley. Stay here much longer. Unless we can locate Jake and get that money in the bank before it opens this morning, Thornton's a dead Harry. Things are hard to swallow, but I don't believe Thornton's a crook. Then why didn't you keep your money in his bank? Yeah, and we got it pretty straight that Tucson Smith and his two pals robbed the bank last night, and Thornton let him in. Well, what you do is your own business. But remember what I said about acting hasty. Come on, men, let's get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sabina? Do you know where Stoney and Tucson are? I reckon I know where everybody is and ain't in my town. Then take us to them at once. Sure. that bag money. I ain't interested. Come on, you old buzzard. Give me that bank money or I'll... Uncle Jay won't give you anything unless I tell him to. That's right, Sabina. You'd give me the money, wouldn't you, Uncle Jay, if I ask you to? Sure would, Sabina. Where is it, then? <laughs> Those darn fools are sitting on it right now. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? Lullaby, you and Jake take Sabina and head back through the tunnel. Stoney and I'll go through the back door and try to make our horses. Now wait. You fellas do as I tell you and you'll be all right. Now listen. When you hear the church bells ring, count five. Then head out the front door to your horses and we'll meet you at the old mining shack just out of town. What are you going to do? Listen, if I told you, I'd spoil all the fun. <laughs> I got everything fixed. You and Funny Face follow me. This is my operating 
out there to meet them. Perhaps I can explain. Explain? Not to that bunch of hyenas. They'd spring you up before you said two words. It's the only thing I can do. There's no use for all of you risking your lives when I'm the only one they want. Come on, come on, come on out of there! I'm going to drop off and try and hold them back. Here. Keep on with the money. Lullaby. That's all of them. 
Number fifty to one. It's only a question of time till the mob wipes us all out. I'm going out there and surrender to them. Suicide to try and reach the bank with that battle going on. You stay here, Sabine, and we'll try and slip into town the back way. Behave yourself, Mr. Barrington. We don't want to mush you up. What's all this about? Barrington, you started this battle. We're going to let you finish it. We're going to let you call off that mob by walking out with us to the bank. We'll never get through there. What could I say to stop them? Just tell them we've got their money. Through the door. Stop talking loud and fast, Mr. Barrington. Stop shooting, man! Stop shooting. We've got the stolen bank money. Good. It's the three mosquitoes. And they're coming down the street to Barrington. Quick, shall we let them have it? Call off the fight, fellas. Stoney's got the bank money. Wait a minute. Maybe it ain't a trick. The money's right here, fellas. Stop shooting. money was stolen by Barrington's men and hidden in Nemesis. Is that right, Barrington? Yeah. The bank is now open for business. Anyone wishing to withdraw accounts may do so. We don't contract here with uh, Kamatsky for a rematch fight. Will you uh, sign it? Why, sure. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> what are you laughing at? What am I laughing at? I was laughing at that. I don't feel so good myself. You don't feel good? What's the matter? Some darn fool said it looked like you. <laughs> 